Hi, welcome to our masterclass. In this video we're going to explain more about potassium, also belonging to the topic deficiencies and excesses. If you grow and you make use of the right brand of nutrients and you also have the right type of nutrients, the dosing can make problems. Of course, growers can make more mistakes. And to avoid these mistakes, Kana made his monos. For example, monopotassium. Potassium is the third macro element, which makes a nutrient a nutrient. We have to mention this amount on the label. Potassium is an element which is needed to create an osmotic value in the plant. But what is an osmotic value? You can compare it with the EC, not in the substrate, but the EC in the plant. And the higher the osmotic value is in the plant, the more sucking power the plant has to take the water from the substrate. But watch out! The same osmotic value is not only sucking the water all the way up in the plant, but also takes the water away from the leaves which is needed for transpiration. So an excess of potassium can make the leaves curl and burn. And now you know it is an excess of potassium. But let's start with the deficiency first. Because often in the start you get a deficiency of potassium because you give too little nutrients or by the antagonism of calcium or even magnesium. That can cause of course a very weak and soft plant. Even then leaves start to wilt because of a deficiency of potassium. A deficiency of potassium you can solve in vegetative phase with P20, the monopotassium. But more common is of course later on an excess of potassium. If we give extra nutrients by increasing the dose, or we even gonna give PK1314, the chance of getting an excess of potassium is quite high. Watch out that the plant is not suffering from that excess. If you are interested by all these kinds of items, please also check our other videos about the monos.